Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Bear Beer Review. Now tonight we are going to be reviewing Hastings Brewery and their handmade number four which is an Australian blonde ale uh, with Ella hops in it. I met these guys at the London Vegan Beer Fest, if you watched the last video you'll hear me witter on all about it and how much of a good time I had and I, I, I really like these guys, they, they were so nice and they were so kind and they gave me loads of bottles of their beer, um, the exclusive handmade selection which are the kind of rare or, or special brews um, that you won't get on the standard range uh, for me to uh, for me to try and, uh, and review um, so I'm really looking forward to trying this I mean first things first uh, the branding is fantastic I had a really nice chat with them about the branding uh, it's similar across the entire range it's the it's the Hastings Lion the on the um, Hastings um, crest, the town crest I suppose, um, they have a line with its tongue, they have three lines with the tongues lolling out so they've taken that and used it in the branding which it goes really well um, obviously with where they come from and also in, term, in terms of like stylistically in bottles and they've kind of changed the colour with each different bottle uh, for the different styles of beer um, so they have consistent branding across all of their beers and also as you've seen the t-shirt, stand up again so you can see it, the t-shirts which are equally as cool and awesome I wish I'll definitely be wearing this around and people will be asking me where I've got it from um, I'm sure. So without further ado let's get into this Australian Blonde Ale I'll crack the top on it um, Ella is not a hop I've had before so I thought I would have a quick nosy and see what it's about now the only Australian hop that I've had in, in abundance really, apart from Pride of Ringwood I suppose, is uh, Galaxy. Um, and Galaxy is, is a super uber ultra citrusy hop, it's 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 absolutely mad on citrus flavours and, and passion fruit and other tropical flavours too, it, it's one of my favourite hops, it, it genuinely is. Um, Ella on the other hand, sounds completely different, now before I go on I shall tell you about colour, it's a lovely lovely peachy sort of colour going on there, or almost bordering on straw, it's very light in colour, looks absolutely lovely and wonderful, uh, this is a, an unfined beer, but having said that, see, you do not need findings in a beer, you don't, this is as clear as clear can be, there is not much in it, um, it is bottle conditioned, I was checked earlier, there is loads and loads and loads of sediment lying around the bottle, so if you give it a careful enough pour, um, you don't get any of the gubbins in, but the gubbins are there for a reason, they're supposed to be there and I like the taste of the extra yeast in the, in the glass anyway. Um, there is not much in the way of head, I didn't give it a hugely vigorous pour uh, and it's quickly dispainting anyway, but having said that it does lace on the side of the glass. Uh, I can see this one sticking down the side of the glass and there is loads of carbonation fizzing on up. Um, so as I was saying, Ella is apparently quite the opposite side of the spectrum and it is quite floral and spicy. So let's give her a nose on this and see what we find. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much, having looked at the hot profile, that's pretty much what you can smell. Um, it's it's definitely more floral, although I can smell a bit of citrus, I can still smell um, kind of an orangey flavour coming through. But it's much more spicy, it smells a bit more complex. Um, and there's also a bit of like floral, almost elder elderflowery sort of smells coming from the top of it as well. Uh, and it smells very, very pleasant. It smells really fruit juicy. It, 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 it smells so fresh and vibrant. Um, I couldn't attest to how fresh this bottle is, but I'm, I'm sure it is, is remarkably fresh. Uh, I know one of the other ones I've got by them was actually brewed sometime in, in the last month, and that's a super hot tail. Um, so that one's definitely going to have to go down my gullet soon to make sure we get the best out of it. But it's very prominent in, 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 in this kind of floral overtone. And it's just that little bit of spicy kind of burn on the nose that you just about um, you just about get, and it, and, and then you get the citrus flavours coming through too, uh, which I wasn't expecting, but uh, by no means unpleasant. I believe Galaxy and and uh, Ella do actually have the same um, parent, well, share a same parent strain. Um, so I see I see where those flavours are probably coming through. It, it doesn't smell too humongously different from a Galaxy. It smells a little bit more multi-dimensional though, uh, which I quite enjoy. Right, so without further ado, cheers guys, let's get into this Australian Blonde Ale. Oh yeah. There's a nice, um, pleasant and quite deep malt body. Um, definitely getting uh, initially a kind of biscuity, a light biscuity malt, which develops into more of a toffee, chewy, 
um, quite typically English malt characteristic and I really like that because that's counterbalanced by those hop flavours. Um, very pleasant bitterness, it's, it's definitely not OTT, it's just there, just uh, present and just about lingers on the tongue uh, and it's still maintaining throughout the palate now, even what, 10-15 seconds after taking a swig. But after that initial mole and then the bitterness, you get a really floral and fragrant note coming through. I really kind of, I, I do think it's an almost elderflower-esque flavour to it, in so much as it's kind of fruity and it also has that floral um, kind of note to it. And then uh, the spice, a kind of very almost traditional English bitter kind of spice, hoppy spice profile, kind of blends together. So it seems to have uh, kind of three sides of the hop spectrum in one drink. The only thing that I'm not getting is the kind of stick and coat that inside of your mouth resin texture that you get from um, certain hop varieties and certain styles of beers. You get them more in the IPAs when they're ridiculously hops. Uh, you get that oily resinous flavour too. Um, and it's very pleasant. It's unbelievably drinkable. I can see myself sitting here and drinking the entire thing in about 10 minutes, if you, or less than that, to be perfectly frank, if you gave me the chance. Um, clocking in at 4.4%, it also is extremely drinkable too. Uh, yes, again, English summertime has come and, and seems to be staying for once, so it's been a 30 degree day which is ridiculously hot and um, this is the perfect accompaniment uh, to it it's so nice and light there is definitely it's definitely medium bodied having said that but it feels like going down and it's not heavy on the stomach and it, it feels refreshing it's nice and cool and the flavours um, because they, they are so fresh um, because this nice floral edge and this, this almost citrus edge almost citrus edge and then just a little bit of tempering from spiciness um, it just feels right for the sort of day that we're in. It's an extremely pleasant blonde ale. I really, really am enjoying this one. Uh, I like the malt body too. I think it does counterbalance the uh, the hops quite well. Um, uh, you wouldn't want a, uh, a kind of blonde ale to be too OTT on hops and bitterness. Um, it's just not what a blonde ale is designed to be, in my opinion at least. So I think it's a fantastic example of Blondale and I, I do like this Ella Hop, uh, I've not tried it before and it, it's definitely got an interesting profile to it, uh, it just seems to, seems to be multi-dimensional, it seems to be multifaceted. I do like the really super high alpha acid and super citrusy hops, they're my, they're my, they are my, genuinely they are my favourite Galaxy and Citra, a two that, that I've always loved, I've always loved, uh, but I can see Ella being another favourite but from a different kind of perspective, um, one that's just not super high off for us and super citrusy and grapefruity. Um, and that's, that's really nice to find in, in a beer, especially by a beer made by some wonderful people. Uh, again, I will not give it a rating because I, I really like these guys and I feel it would be too biased upon my behalf. But do go out and do get, uh, do get beers by them. They do sell via the website. It would be a very well thought out thing if you were to do that. I can I can lay testament to their beers. I've I tried them, most of them, uh, on the weekend at the London Vegan Beer Fest. Um, by the way, vegan beer doesn't give you a headache because I woke up in the morning without a hangover. That is a bare beer tip, I promise you that much. Uh, so go and give them a shot. They are vegan. They are unfined beers. They are bottle conditioned. They are wonderful people. I love the branding. I love the beer. They are brilliant. And thank you ever so much. I shall see you all again on the next Bare Beer Review. Cheers.